the world outside is the way it is. It has its ups and downs. So where are you going to look for something you really depend on? We will have to learn how to trust yourself. That means you have to learn how to train the mind so that it doesn't turn on itself and do unskillful things. As the Buddha said, when if you don't have yourself as your refuge, you don't have a refuge at all. So yourself has to be the refuge, but it's not just going to be a refuge automatically. It's got to be trained, because you've got lots of selves in there. Some are wise, some are not so wise. And all too often the ones that are not wise tend to take over suddenly. And then you're left for the aftermath. So you've got to learn how, even in the split second, you've got your refuge that you can depend on right away. It's not something far off. We take refuge in the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha, but what that really means on the deeper level is that we try to develop their qualities inside. The Buddha was a person of purity, compassion, wisdom, so we want to develop our own purity, compassion, and wisdom too. And a lot of wisdom lies in knowing how to encourage yourself to do things you know are right but you don't like doing, and how to discourage yourself from the things that you know are going to give bad results but you like doing them. That's the kind of wisdom you need in order to have a refuge. So learn to understand who in your mind is telling you the wise things and who is telling you the one things are not so wise, and what you can do to strengthen the wise ones. That's how you find your refuge. And this is how you show genuine compassion for yourself, and how you keep your actions pure. All these qualities come together when you're able to control this stable of selves in your mind. That's when you've got a refuge. Your refuge is in the ability to control, in the wisdom that allows you to control effectively. So wisdom is not just knowing about things or knowing what the Buddha had to teach. It means learning how to bring your mind into line with what the Buddha had to teach. So you've got that refuge inside, because that's why he was teaching to begin with. He saw the people of the world just flopping around like fish in a pool, fighting over the, the little bit of water remaining. The water wasn't going to be able to provide them with any real refuge. And they themselves were going to die if they kept fighting like this. The only real refuge is if you go inside and find the qualities you need there. They're there. We all have them, to, to a greater or lesser extent. But the most compassionate thing, as the Buddha pointed out, is to get out of that pool. Don't be fighting over what little things the world has to offer. There's a huge range of possibilities inside your own mind. You can create, create your own refuge, create your own safety. So try to take advantage of that. As for the world outside, it has its ups and downs, and you learn from its ups and downs. But where you really want to depend on is your own ability to develop these qualities so that they in turn protect you. <laughs>